I'm Janelle Lynch, and I'm based in New York, in Manhattan. My search has been about uh, connection uh, in the physical world and to the spiritual world beyond it. The ideas in Endless Forms Most Beautiful emerged during an experience that I had in 2018 at the studio school. I was working in the sculpture studio following a um, significant loss in my personal life. A mulberry tree in the courtyard behind the sculpture studio was being pruned. Big, healthy, beautiful limbs were falling to the ground and I made drawings or rubbings of them on the mulberry paper as a way of affirming their value and memorializing them. I identify that moment as the beginning of my work in alternative processes. I left New York, the city uh, where I live, in September to go to Amagansett, which is on the eastern end of Long Island, situated between the um, Atlantic and a nature preserve. I was in solitude. Endless Forms Most Beautiful are among the last lines in Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species. While Darwin's theories are rooted in the physical world of atoms and molecules, the words can refer to life beyond this physical world. I set up an angel visitation station and when I saw blue pixie, a kind of sprite that appeared. I intuitively knew that I needed to bring in my body because those sprites had our primordial forms. I was combining my body with botanicals and wildlife remains. I put them on the paper, I laid my body on top of them, that allowed me to experience an even deeper sense of connection to nature. This is the first time that I have, in one body of work, combined photographic work with alternative processes. I was interchangeably cyanotyping and photographing. The black and white images were functioning as a kind of bridge between this physical world and the ethereal world. They abstract the world as we know it. There are two of ephemeral matter that I couldn't cyanotype, so dewdrops and a cluster of spider webs. And those images refer to the cosmos, to the heavens. The ideas in this work are really rooted in um, childhood experiences. To make that connection has been extremely meaningful to me. Witnessing my grandmother who raised me, she raised me for the first 10 years of my life, stand in front of a portrait of my grandfather who had passed and talk to him. Those experiences planted in my young consciousness the possibility of a photograph holding the spiritual essence of the being or person depicted and the possibility of communication with and connection to the afterlife. I will go back to Amagansett in the fall. I do have a sense that there is more to make related to this, but what it will be 
I have no idea, and that's exciting to me.